I'm Amy from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today we are going to learn how to deal with a double-stranded sock blank. Um, so this is a sock blank. Um, kind of unroll it a little bit here. It's beautiful because it's been uh, hand dyed and hand painted uh, to be this gradient, which is a technique that's kind of difficult to achieve otherwise. Um, so oftentimes you'll receive a sock blank in the sock blank form, and now uh, the idea is how do you get it ready for knitting? So first what we do is find the end, which I can see is kind of poking out right here. I go ahead and get that going a little bit. And there are kind of a couple of options here. If you're knitting two at a time socks, you could simply you know, separate the strands and cast on both socks and start going from there, which is great. Um, another option is to wind off both strands before you even start knitting, which is what I'm going to show you today. Or you could wind off one strand as you're knitting your first sock with the other strand. Um, these here are called uh, winder foals, which is part of a tool that you can connect to your drill for uh, winding yarn. Um, I just grabbed these because they're handy. You could also just use a piece of cardboard or you could wind these into balls by hand also. Um, but it's really pretty simple. I'm gonna get this going just a little bit more to start. And get it going on one of these here. Get it going on the other one. And the great thing about a double-stranded sock blank is that uh, the gradient's gonna be identical on both socks. Um, so there is this little extra step involved, but in my opinion, it's worth it because it's just so pretty. So really, I like to go, you know, unravel a couple of rows at once. I don't like to get too much yarn going because then things start to get a little bit tangly. Um, but yeah, pretty much just wind a little bit on one strand wind a little bit of the other one until you're all ready to go. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!